All right, have you ever wanted to know what is depth of field or how to manipulate it and use it to your advantage? I'm gonna show you how to do that right now in this video. Okay, thank you so much for clicking on this video, guys. On this channel, I'm gonna be sharing my experiences as I learn more about photography and cinematography as I turn this passion of mine into a job. If so if you wanna see that journey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we can, we can start from here and we can go up here if you know what I'm saying. All right, so, okay, this is gonna be like a super simple, super boiled down, simply put, what is depth of field? Depth of field is how much of your image is in focus. It usually is a, is a bar that goes across the screen. Definitely in the, in the center of that is in focus but it's usually a line that goes across. You can see it really well on this picture of freezing rain on my windshield. You can see that the front of the image, the back of the image are out of focus, but that center line is in focus. I forget what the f-stop and everything was, but that's what it is. Uh, that is called a shallow depth of field if it's very small, very little. I took these pictures from my mom's channel for her channel, and you can see in this one, that just the front of the bun of the sandwich is in focus, even right below it where like the pulled pork and the, and the coleslaw is, you can see that that's out of focus. And even that sandwich way in the back is out of focus. You want, you play with depth of field to isolate your subject, to separate it from the background, to make the viewer focus on what you want them to focus on. It's very popular, I, you would say, in portraits and ma macro photography. Now, how can you make your depth of field bigger? Let's say that you wanted to have more of the sandwich in focus, how would you do that? Then you want to close down the aperture, which means that you want the number to go up. So, like that photo I showed you of the sandwich, I believe is at f2.8. To increase your depth of field, you want to shrink your aperture. So I believe this photo is at f22. I'll have to actually look in the settings to see if I can find out what, which one it is. But you can see that a lot more of the sandwich is in focus. And you can even see that sandwich in the back a little bit. It's still kind of out of focus a little bit, but it's not as much as the first one. It also works for cinematography. Like right now, you can see that back here is kind of, kind of out of focus. Right now we are at f2.8. So let me just do that for you right now. We're gonna shoot this up to F10, and I'm just gonna crank this ISO to that. So you can see already that the lamp is a lot more in focus than it was before. That's basically it. I hope you guys are able to use this on your next photo shoot. I made it simple enough for you to understand what depth of field is and how to achieve it and how to make it bigger and smaller. So thank you guys so much for watching this. And if you like little videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing little tips like this as I learn stuff. I'll be putting some of my passion projects on here. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to be doing something every week. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys again next week. Boom. Yeah, little change of scenery. I got one light. Thing. I don't want you to think that I'm that I'm trying to copy Peter McKinnon too much with the one I don't have an aperture light This is just a El Chipe Savage light which that link is in the description if you want to check it out I just wanted something different. I was tired of being in my computer room. So I just came out here I hope that was okay